Hey, it's Dr. Buck, and in this video, I wanna share with you what I think is one of the biggest contributors to our current opioid epidemic. I think you're gonna be shocked when you hear what I have to say. All right, so this is gonna be a little bit controversial, but I'm gonna tell you my opinion. This is my opinion anyway. Um, because I think it's important. I think everybody should know this. Uh, the, the opioid problem in America is really you know, increasing. It's huge as it is. It's a big problem. It, it destroys a lot of lives. Um, and I think people should know where this came from. So um, this is also multifactorial. I can't, I, I can't say there's only one thing that did this, but I think that this is a big, big contributor and this is one of the best uh, examples of what I call unintended consequences. I mean, uh, obviously a lot of people would say unintended consequences, but there's a lot of things that uh, the government does that has unintended consequences. And if you are not somebody who is researching uh, treatments, right? Say like the, the medical community, they, we, we say, okay, we think we have a good treatment for X disease, let's try that. Well, we, we do a research project and we test, we do some test uh, animals or subjects or whatever it is, and we find out, yes, it's pretty good, but it's got these side effects, it's a little bit of a problem, or no, it's really, really bad, it's worse than not doing anything at all. So I think, you know, if you look at government and look at the way that they uh, implement laws and things, that they do this without any research. They say, well, we think this is going to be pretty good. This sounds like a great law. Let's just implement that and see what happens. Well, now, I think, so I think this is what happened with our opioid epidemic. And so in about 2002, the uh, CMS, the Center for uh, Medicaid Services, came up with what we call HCAPs. And that is, I'm gonna, I gotta find right here, Hospital Consumer Assessment of Healthcare Providers and Systems. That is basically short or long for um, patient satisfaction surveys, okay? So they decided we're gonna see what patients say about hospitals and then we're gonna grade hospitals and then we might even pay them accordingly. So if they have a crappy survey from patients, we're not gonna pay them as much because CMS also, you know, they pay out Medicaid and Medicare payments to hospitals and providers, physicians. Uh, so they're kind of the big, um, you know, the big driver with new uh, insurance and uh, payments and all that stuff. I mean, that you can go talk about that forever. But anyway, so they came out with this idea in 2002, and in 2005, I believe it was implemented, and then it started being actually reported to the public in 2008. And what that means is they were asking the patients how was your experience in this hospital? And the patients would respond and they'd say, well, my, my, um, my hospital say, stay sucked. Uh, they say, well, why is that? Well, cause I was in pain all the time. And they'd say, and that, to go back to the hospitals and say, oh, well, th this is your problem. Your patients are in pain all the time. And the hospital would say, well, okay, uh, let, me, let me think here. If our patients are in pain all the time and you're gonna pay us less if our patients are complaining that they're in pain all the time, then they need to not be in pain all the time, right? So what do we need to do? We need to give them more pain medication. Yeah. So protocols then became in place, not one hospital, almost all hospitals, that patients need to not be in pain. And you, if you've been into a hospital, you'll see the nurses say, on, you know, here's our little smiley face over here, our, we have no pain, and then here's our frowny face, we have you know, a lot of pain, 10 out of 10 pain. 10, 10 out of 10 pain being the most pain you ever had. Well, that's a subjective uh, type of score, right? If I ask you, are you in pain, and you're sitting there fine, and you're playing on your iPad, you say, yes, I'm in pain. And you say, what, what's your pain score? Well, it's an eight. Really, an eight, that's almost the, as mo the most amount of pain that you've ever been in? Yes, that's, that's correct, right? So if that's the patient's response, and you, but even though you see that the patient doesn't appear to be in an eight, the protocol for the nurse is to give the patient more narcotics. So that way they're not in pain, so that way their survey is better, and that way they get paid, right? 
interesting. So from 2005 to currently, we're still doing age caps, this is what's going on. And in the last 10 years, our opioid epidemic has exploded. So now I'm not saying that it's 100% responsible, but I think it's a pretty significant amount. Um, I don't know, do you guys tell me what you think? Uh, I don't know if you've ever heard that before. If you have, let me know. Um, com uh, comment in the space below. Tell me if you think that is reasonable, if you think it's stupid, if you think that is exactly what's happening, if you think it's not exactly what's happening, and any solutions that you have. And maybe I'll come out with, I've got a couple, there are solutions to um, opioid epidemics, uh, or uh, uh, opioid addiction. Um, they're difficult but there are solutions, so I'll maybe do a video on that next. So please comment below, let me know what you think of the video, and subscribe to the channel if you can. Thanks, take it easy.